Hey, I'm Heath, and I'm the only Down Under brother here today. We recently went on our annual Gemfields trip in Queensland, and I bought home a bag of wash, and we're going to be going through that today. And afterwards, I'm going to I'm going to show you my cut stones. So hang around if you want to see those. The wheelie bin is just like going to be a really good table because it's at like the perfect height. You're going to want a like bowl so that way you can put the stones in that you find into the bowl. You're going to need some tweezers, just any tweezers. And you're going to need, well, your bag of wash and sieves. When you're using the sieves, you're going to want to have the big squared one on top because that'll have the big stones or big rocks and it'll get it out for you and you can have a look through that. And then it'll have all of the smaller stones in on the bottom and that's where most of your sapphires will be. You can find sapphires in your big one, but there's just more smaller ones. So guys, what you're gonna want to do is get your wash, untie it, and then pour it into your sieves, which can be in a bucket so you can tip it wherever you need. So collect all the rubbish that you don't want, as in rocks. So now that I have this untied, I'm gonna open it up and pour some into the sieves. As you can see, I got this bag from Armfest. We're in 2022 and this cost me $25. Now you're gonna wanna pour your wash into your sieves. I find about half a bag is good going. What we're gonna do, guys, is sh um, shake the sieve so all of the dirt and all of the really small things fall out into your bucket. So now, guys, we're gonna go back over to our bin, which is our table. Lots of people say you have to do it in lots of sunlight, but once you get the hang of it, you can just do it with light at any time of day. So let me tell you about the way that I like to do this best. I like to start off with my stones dry because all of the rocks won't be shiny, whereas your sapphires and zircons will be shiny. Whereas when you wet them, everything will be shiny, but then it cleans off your sapphires so that can help you a bit too. But then you're waiting for your stones to dry so you can actually tell. What we're looking for is some stones that are like shiny. Now we're just going to have a look in our sieves. Uh, can you see any? Here's one. See, I told you that you can find them in the big sieve. So I'm gonna finish off the tray and then we'll wash down the stones and we'll come back to it once it's dry. Okay guys, let's go down to the smaller sieve. Can you guys spot any?
If you don't know if it's a sapphire or a zircon, you should um, put it in your bowl so you can shine a torch on it after you're finished and check if it's a sapphire or a zircon. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. We're gonna go over to the hose so that we can get all of the dirt and dust off of the wash. So now we're just gonna give our wash a rinse. I reckon that should do it. After you've washed it, uh, washed it, you should let it dry, and then hopefully your sapphires and zircons that are left there, if you have any left there, will sparkle, and you can and you will see them. If you actually go to a gem, a gem field, and you go to one of the stores where you can go and search them at that place. You can, they actually have tables where you can flip out the sieve so all the rocks are on like this mat. But seeing as we're at home, we just keep it in the sieve. So this is what we have found today. They don't look anything special yet until you put light on them. So you can just use your phone as a torch you can get a grabby stick. I have a really mini one. It's just like something that grabs your stone and like you can spin it around on all angles. It's like my torch turned off. Righto, let's pick a nice big one. Here's a nice big one. So this is the one that we're gonna put under the torch. If like you can't see any color in it and it just looks like a brown rock, it, it's just a rock then. And some sapphires are really dark so light doesn't transfer through them. This stone is just, well, it is a sapphire, but it like, it's a really dark one. So it's just not gonna be good so that goes in the rubbish pile. Can you see the sparkle in this one? It's got a really big sparkle, so that means that it is a good sapphire. You can see the blue in the sapphire. So guys, there's a company named Lambert, and it and and it is in Thailand, and you can send your stones there to get cut. The minimum is four millimeters by four millim four millimeters by four millimeters. So that's how big that your stone has to be to get it sent into lion birds. And if it's bigger, even better. So if you see any cracks through the stone, like inside the stone or any dark patches, um, the stone isn't really good. If the dark patch isn't too dark or big, well then you can get it heat treated and that'll, that won't cost too much. Uh, but you're pretty much just looking for a really nice stone to send in. And there's a place at the Queensland gem fields that you can get them done. If you're not too sure if the stone is good or not, you can still send it in and they'll see if it's good or not. If they send it back and it's not cut, that means that it wasn't really good enough. But if they cut it, well then that means that it's good enough. So guys, we're gonna have a look at another couple of stones. Now I actually found a clear one today. Have a look at that. So as you can see, this is a really thin stone, so we won't be able to get it cut. But still, it counts as a stone. It's nice to keep for memory's sake. Here is a nice green one. 
this is just a really beautiful blue stone, as you can see. This is a zircon. You see how it's like really orange? That is what a zircon is. You can find clear ones and brown and red. But this one is just orange, which is one of the most common. Yeah, they're a really beautiful stone. And at the end, I'm going to show you my massive cut zircon. Shall we have a look now? Um, my nana actually took a lapidary course. So she got taught and uh, she got taught how to cut the stone. Would you like to see them? Now you are, you might be thinking why I have some stones in plastic bags. That's because I my nana didn't cut these. These are the stones that I got uh, that I sent to Lambert. I'm going to show you these ones first. I'm going to show you the zerk one so you can see a nice clear one. So guys, as you can see here, that is our, well, my clear stone. But these are all zircons. I'm going to put these back in the bag and then show you more stones. Um, so guys, I do have more stones, but I think that you guys are going to want to see the bigger ones more. As you guys can see there, that is a pretty good zircon. But guys, that's not my biggest one. Just look at that massive stone. You should be able to see it sparkle. You know what? I want to know how many carrots that this is. Let's find out. Okay, guys, we have our scale here. And it's just got a con nice container for you to put all of the stones in. All right, let's turn it on. Now, you're going to want the setting on CT, which is for carrot. And after you have it on carrot and it says nothing. And if it does say the weight, like because of the container, you just go tear and that'll reset it. So at the moment, it's at zero. Now I'm going to put my stone on. My zircon is 1.4 carats. So guys, I'm going to quickly show you the stones that my nana cut. So guys, that is all the cut ones that my nana did. Now we're just going to put all the lids back on. Righto, I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you next time.